a uh, warm welcome to our committee. Well, over the last two hours, there have been quite a lot of questions for you. But there's one that I would like to look at more deeply with you, and that's the issue of digital currencies and cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, for example, has become much more important in recent years. To what extent is this a competition to the euro and the ECB? How can money laundering and uh, criminality be combated uh, in the use of uh, cryptocurrencies? How can the ECB uh, be working? Another question that we haven't had yet is that in Germany we've currently got negative interest rates and uh, the response is in Germany is very negative for small savers, for uh, German uh, Sparkassen, the small savings banks and cooperative banks. This is really difficult. As you see it, do you think it's unavoidable, unavoidable to have a reduction in the number of banks Or do you think that the diversity of the banking market in Germany could actually be an asset in dealing with an upcoming uh, economic and financial crisis? I hope you're not asking me my view on a particular merger. <laughs> so, thank you so much for bringing um, us back to the digital, digital currencies, because I think it's, it's, uh, it's important. The principle that I set out earlier on, on, you know, number one, financial stability, uh, and avoidance of risks, but number two, allowing, allowing the innovation and not stifling it, I think remains. I would distinguish between, you know, cryptocurrencies a la bitcoins, uh, which, you know, certainly can be analyzed uh, differently depending on where they are reviewed. There are places in the world where they are regarded as assets. There are places in the world where they're regarded as currencies. There are places in the world where they're regarded as securities. So it's, there's a whole um, chaos of the proper analytical framework for such thing. But in the main, what we have observed recently is that it has been a fairly speculative and highly volatile product, uh, and uh, one that is not sufficiently large to actually threaten uh, stability and be um, a hindrance uh, to um, the proper transmission of monetary policy. I would distinguish that from the stable coins, which are, a, in my view, a different type of animal and uh, which probably have a different future. But that being said, I believe that stable coins, whether they are the Libras of this world uh, or um, central bank uh, digital currencies, they have to be... Um, in compliance with all the rules and regulations that apply to the activity. So I'm not overly concerned about, you know, is it a bank? I think it's far more important to focus on the activity that is conducted by those groupings um, to make sure that there is full compliance with the regulations that apply to those products. And in that vein, I would suggest that um, anything that protects against money laundering uh, against the financing of terrorism, against uh, financial stability, against proper transmission of monetary policy should be paramount when assessing whether those products should be allowed to prosper in our region of the world and possibly in other places, which is why I'm, I'm, I was really pleased to see that Benoit Curé uh, of um, the ECB was tasked by the G7 to actually look at those digital currencies, consult as broadly as possible, and come back with some findings as to, you know, its appropriateness or not. Thank you. Now for non attached we have Per Nicola Pedicini. Grazie, Presidente. Yes, thank you, Chair, and thank you, Madame Lagarde. 